All right, this is an O2 PT Cruiser that I bought for my daughter. Had a whole bunch of small things wrong with it. One of the small things is they've replaced the fender at some point with a fender that was primed but never painted, and it's, it's got a big old dent in it as well. So I'm gonna take that off. I found a new one in the right color. It started out, I had to take the grill off. It's got two bolts. Two bolts here you have to take out. And then one screw right here, that's a Phillips head screw on either side. And then that just comes off because underneath there you've got, this is where the bumper cover connects to the fender. And underneath there is one, two, three bolts holding the fender actually on. My handy assistant has left me for now, but if you have them hold this hood, it'll go up yet farther. If you have them push the hood farther back, you can get the socket wrench straight down on that. And then underneath, there's three screws. I think these were eight millimeter. One, two, three. Two of them had already broken out of here, but I took the third one out. And then inside, there's one push pin. There's a second push pin over here. Amongst all the dirt is a third push pin. And then another bolt right here. And then underneath, there is one final bolt right up under here. And then the inner fender liner will come out. And then you take these last two bolts from the fender to the rocker panel loose. And I'm thinking that's what'll free the entire fender. You just be able to lift the whole thing off. We'll know in a couple of minutes. Okay, that was close to right, but not entirely accurate. Under the mud, I found there's a second screw down here, just below and inside of the other one. And then up front, back here, there's another push pin holding this to some other plastic piece in there. Well, that was almost right, but not quite. I got everything out. I could feel some resistance back here towards the back. I pulled this piece of styrofoam out, which I'm guessing is sound dampening, and I found there was another 10 millimeter bolt here, and then up in here, there's another 10 millimeter as well. I was able to reach that fairly easy with a long extension from here. And then I'd forgotten about these two. You have to reach up, these are 10 millimeter as well. You have to reach up and take the nuts off of these two bolts to free the fender from the bumper cover. If that's the part that'll get you swearing, because it's easier to show over here where I've taken the headlight out on the other side, but it's not actually a stud. It's a bolt with a nut on it. So as you're trying to take the nut off, the bolt is turning. You have to contort yourself into semi-pretzel, get up in there with a 10 millimeter wrench and hold on to the top of that bolt as well. But that was pretty much it. And the only other thing that was holding it was one of these little push pins down here in the very front where that you push in the center of. And I was actually able to reach through here with a blown screwdriver and just push that out of there. So the whole thing is free now. The only thing I need to do is take them four bolts, nuts off the back of the headlight, take it out of there, and then this will lift right off. Man, if I had video editing software, I'd edit all these mistakes out so I didn't have to confess to them. But after I took those two push pins out, it still wouldn't come out. And I pulled the bumper cover off. Found out there was another bolt right there. Then the whole thing fell loose and I thought I was there. Then I saw there's one last nut right up under here. So hopefully I'll take those two off and this thing will be laying on the ground. And voila, a PT Cruiser with a fender missing. Pretty much came out the way I thought it would. It only took actually about, well, it took about two hours altogether. So I had to figure out how some of it came off. Hopefully this video will help you. I don't know how to paint. So I have to drive 90 miles down to Lockport, Illinois to get a black fender. But it was actually pretty easy to take off. Hopefully the new one will be, or the replacement will be just as easy to put back on.